So this is, um, we've created something um, over the last 12 months called the ACE Mobile um, and um, it's so one of the most popular um, screening assessments for use in dementia um, is the um, Addenbrooke's Cognitive Examination which was originally developed by someone called Professor John Hodges in Cambridge. It was subsequently revised um, and that was the Addenbrooke's Cognitive Examination revised um, and then the latest version is the ACE 3. Um, and essentially we have computerised the ACE3 which is um, in its current state was a traditional paper and pencil type assessment um, and we've created a computerised version for iPad um, and for Android platforms um, that we think significantly improves um, upon some of, the, uh, some of the limitations of the paper and pencil version. From Craig and I shared um, a, a research interest in, in, in how you assess um, thinking problems um, and particularly the kind of thinking problems that you get in dementia and I think that neuropsychology, the background that we both traditionally come from, the, that process can be quite lengthy and, can, and be very detailed and I've always been really interested in very very good clinically useful screening assessments um, and so it came, um, we approached Professor Hodges and said look we really want to try and develop your measure um, and we met with him um, in a restaurant in London, we got on well, he was really liked the idea and I think we all thought that we could work well together and since then it's been the three of us um, that have done the nuts and bolts mm -hmm. and Craig's done a lot of the design um, of the way the app looks and the way it kind of performs um, and then in the background have obviously been we've had terrific support from the research and development um, department here with them um, Simon Rawl and Helen Nealands um, at Derriford um, from Professor Zajcek at the University so our team is housed within his clinical neurology research group and we've also had kind of financial support from Penn Clark the NIHR um, research network for the South West. Yeah, is that any to get a project like this off the ground is quite it's interesting so I think what um, Rupert hasn't talked about is the initial two years of our project we did really as, on a voluntary basis so we both we calculated put in about 2,000 hours of voluntary work each it, well whether you could call it voluntary work I don't know but that kind of you know we were entrepreneurial in that respect and it's slowly becoming established that we can you know get employed to do this but um, it's taken a big effort and we've had those stakeholders we're talking about have been there kind of from the start and that's really been very helpful. Yeah, so thinking about what this measure offers, I guess, over and above the ACE, the ACE3 paper version, so if in a clinic you've got the ACE3 and the ACE Mobile, the decision to select the ACE Mobile I think will be based on some of the benefits that we've built in. So we've included now uh, embedded instructions so that there's no necessity to carry a manual or learn how to use the measure in any great depth and also that means hopefully that there'll be an increased reliability and the measure will be delivered as it was designed. Um, we've built in auto scoring so that there's no kind of hazard or error of, of, of scoring errors being made either under pressures in clinic or just because the man some of the scoring elements within the ACE3 are quite complex and again you don't need to refer to a manual. And also we've built in which we think as clinicians is very useful is having the ability to produce a number of different types of reports so an on-screen report that's immediately very useful a report that comes back to your computer to be printed and added to notes and also um, a, an ability to kind of audit your own clinical practice which is usually very important for clinicians um, and hopefully will be time saving will add to their kind of efficiency and overall make it an, an appealing product. Um, it allows people who feel less confident in assessing dementia to be able to use it um, and to feel confident in their ability to be able to get good valid and reliable data um, and I think that that means that it opens up the opportunity for lots of other healthcare st staff other than dementia experts to be able to kind of use this product. In terms of patient benefit uh, we see one of the, the kind of uh, barriers for assessment and early assessment is the actual the demand for assessment, so dementia is, a, you know, dementia as a kind of disease with an aging population is, a, is just a huge ballooning issue within society um, and currently the, the existing model is straining to meet demand. The Alzheimer's Society are putting out calls saying that you know, a big proportion of people are just not getting diagnosed and we're, we're kind of, our kind of view of what's happening is that um, the ability to assess for dementia is very much held within a 
a framework where a lot of training and highly specialist skills are required. So the hope is you can take a, a tool like the ACE Mobile into a broader um, team of skills and still deliver high quality assessments and so hopefully open up the doors to deliver more assessment and increase accessibility. So we're going to the expo, we've had this amazing opportunity, um, there's going to be over 3,000 people um, who, and it is an NHS Innovations Expo, and there's a whole section um, on dementia, there's a dementia village, and we're going to be in the GP surgery, um, trying to give people the opportunity to find out about what we've been trying to do, um, and we're hoping to get some great contacts um, from, you know, the, it's going to be innovators in dementia, there's going to be commissioners there, and we hope that people really like what we're trying to do. And also, you know, we, we like the idea of a kind of an ACE mobile community, so people that feel invested in this, you know, people that are going to use the tool and help us to collect the kind of data that's going to allow us to um, use this and develop it in the, further, in the future. It's developed by clinicians for clinicians and we hope people are going to buy into that kind of philosophy and help us build something that will be brilliant for the future.